The mass production of chamomile with fields awash in golden blooms has implemented mechanized harvesting machinery. The entire chamomile industry will be worth $1 billion by 2032. Chamomile cultivation on a large scale requires careful site selection and soil preparation. It's important to choose a location with a temperate climate and well-drained sandy loam soils, ideally with a pH ranging from 5.6 to 7.5. Seeds are typically sown in rows to facilitate mechanized planting and harvesting and ensuring even growth. Throughout the growing season, close attention is given to irrigation, pest management, and weed control to maintain plant vigor and optimize crop yields. Harvesting chamomile takes place during the early summer, time to coincide with the flower's full bloom. This is usually done in the morning, once the dew has evaporated and when the essential oil concentration is at its peak. A chamomile harvester is used to gently comb through the plants and collect the blossoms without damaging them. Attached to a tractor, the harvester maneuvers effortlessly across the chamomile fields. It uses rotating brushes and combs that gently lift and separate the flowers from the stems. The chamomile flowers are transported to a processing facility for further processing. Here, they are carefully laid out on perforated floor containers within a drying chamber. This setup facilitates optimal air circulation as warm, dry air passes over and through the flowers, ensuring uniform drying by removing excess moisture. The drying chamber is controlled with precise temperature and humidity settings to prevent any risk of mold formation and to achieve efficient drying. The duration of this process varies, typically ranging from several hours to a couple of days, depending on the initial moisture content of the flowers and the exact drying conditions employed. Once dried, the chamomile are carefully fed into the hopper of a chamomile head flower separator, either manually using hands and sticks or with the assistance of a belt conveyor. Within these machines, the flowers undergo separation from their stems, and below it is a vibrating sieve that has screens of precise mesh sizes, allowing the separated flowers to pass through while retaining larger, unwanted materials. The vibrational motion gently moves the chamomile across the screens, minimizing damage to the delicate flowers. This is crucial for maintaining the quality and integrity of the chamomile. The chamomile head separator machine is also used to separate first grade flowers from second grade flowers and pass them through a revisory conveyor separately. The first grade is typically reserved for premium products that prioritize both the visual appeal and potency of chamomile. While the second grade flowers include more broken or less vibrant blooms, they are used for products where the visual quality is less critical.
the flowers are then carefully hand-picked to remove any remaining stems, leaves, or damaged blooms. This sorting process is important for maintaining uniformity in size and quality, particularly for products such as teas and extracts where consistency is key. Despite being labor-intensive, this step significantly contributes to the overall quality and efficacy of chamomile products. Once sorted, the flowers are gathered into containers and readied for subsequent processing stages. The chamomiles are moved to a pneumatic separator, which separates particles based on their aerodynamic characteristics. This machine uses a controlled airstream to lift and divide particles. The lighter ones are carried away by the airflow, while heavier ones settle under gravity. Following separation, the particles are sorted into distinct containers based on their weight. Lighter particles are deposited into one bin, whereas heavier ones are directed into another. Additionally, the separator effectively removes undesired materials such as dust, rocks, and metals, ensuring each fraction is meticulously sorted according to its specific weight. The mixture of the rest of the herb which were sieved on the chamomile flower separator is put into a vibrational sieve either manually or mechanically in the processing line. The machine is designed for the efficient separation of materials into different fractions based on size. It uses high frequency vibrations to move the material across a mesh screen, allowing smaller particles to pass through while larger particles remain on top. This process is particularly useful as it helps to separate the flower heads from smaller particles and debris, maintaining the quality and consistency of the products by ensuring that only the desired parts of the plant are processed further.
The separated chamomile flowers are then processed in a mill where they are ground down into finer particles and powders. This machine offers adjustable grinding settings to achieve various particle sizes required for different product specifications. Once ground, the chamomile undergoes pneumatic transport through pipelines propelled by air pressure. This system yields different outputs, finely powdered chamomile and shredded chamomile. Finally, the processed chamomiles are packed into sacks according to its grade, ensuring readiness for market distribution. Upon arrival of transport trucks, the sacks are carefully loaded for delivery. Chamomile flowers are also processed into essential oil. Once harvested and dried, the flowers are loaded into a large distillation still. Steam is injected into the still, passing through the plant material to vaporize the essential oils. The resulting steam and essential oil vapor condense into liquid form in a condenser. The oil is then separated from the water using a Florentine flask and a separator. It undergoes filtration to remove any remaining plant particles. The purified essential oil is subsequently bottled in stainless steel containers. Samples of the essential oil undergo rigorous testing for purity, composition, and overall quality assurance. Discover the fascinating process of how food is mass-produced and harvested in our latest videos. Our channel provides insights into production lines and behind-the-scenes footage. Watch our next documentary here.